cryptocurrency called Steam and Steam Back Dollars. And the more you have on the site, uh, the more you can make. Because your Steam is, is uh, enabling you to have more power on the site for upvoting other people's articles, which is how you would get paid because the system gives out so much steam and steam back dollars, which follow the US dollar, it gives so much tokens out per day. And those tokens go to whoever was upvoted the most. So you get more money when other people see and like your content. So People have made hundreds of thousands of dollars on this platform in the past year or two since it has been running. I have been on it since June 2016 and I have been posting here and there and, and learning and uh, there's a lot to learn because it's very different from the way um, we're used to doing social media but once you learn it, it can be very fun and very uh, rewarding for your time, effort, and creativity. So today I'm going to show you how you can withdraw money from Steemit and Steam and Steam back dollars. So this is my wallet. I've earned a couple thousand dollars just by posting once here and there. Not even, I'd probably say on average one article per month or less I've been writing. And I upvote, on average, probably a couple times per month. I go and upvote other people's posts, but that's it. Um, there's been times where I've been on this platform more than others, but I kind of, uh, I've kind of been focused on other things, so I haven't been doing um, blogging as much on here. So, we have 441 Steam which can be transferred out right now. Steam power needs to be powered down um, and it can slowly be uh, cashed out. It enables the token to hold more value because people can't sell it as quickly. It takes the process to cash out your Steam power, your Steam dollars you can also sell. So I have this much Steam powered down. I just got transferred some by another user that would like me to help them uh, cash out 550 steam for them. Show up to color content. So, if you would like to follow me uh, on steamit.com, I'm at Keith Will Shine. And I will follow you back. But moving on. We're going to do this a different way because the plot forms uh, and markets are not accepting Steam or Steam back dollars right now. Um, they need to fix uh, some user issues right now, which on the platform you'll see once in a while some tokens will be disabled or you're, you can't cash in or out. But, or sorry, you can't cash in, you might be able to cash out. But, we cannot sell our uh, Steam or exchange it into Bitcoin on a platform that we normally use, like Poloniex. So we're going to do it a different way. We're going to go down here to sell. And it's going to take us to block trades. You can type in how much Steam you're looking to sell. Right now I'm probably going to sell 300 or 350 doesn't have to be exact, and you'll get an estimate of how much Bitcoin you're going to get. You'll type in the Bitcoin address you'd like to receive the Bitcoin to. So basically, this is going to exchange your Steam into, uh, into Bitcoin. It's going to give you Bitcoin for your Steam, or Steam back dollars. So I'm going to go to my local Bitcoin wallet, which is how we're going to be selling our Bitcoin in, uh, for cash. And we're going to go to our receive Bitcoin wallet address. which is right here. We're going to copy that. We're going to copy that and type it in here. And then it's going to generate an address for us to send our scene to. 
so that we can receive Bitcoins at that wall address we gave them. So then you go back to your wallet and you're going to transfer. And if you were transferring it to a marketplace like Poloniex, you would type in Poloniex right here. But, and also when you go into your Poloniex deposit address, it's going to give you a memo. Right now, Blocktree is giving us a memo, so that's what we're going to use. It's like a wallet address for Steam. And we're going to send it to Block Trades Steam and Account. And this is usually a Steam and Account associated, um, or the Steam and platform would send the Steam itself to something like Poloniex through this handle and your wallet address. So we're going to type in the amount. Um, we're going to do 341 dollars Steam, sorry. Right now, we're lucky Steam is around, it's a little bit more than one US dollar per Steam. And in the beginning, I think it was about a cent for one Steam when I first started out. You'll have to sign with your Steam uh, ownership key, which you get from Steam it, and mine automatically uh, goes through because it's a computer I normally use and log into Steam it with. So it remembers me. And that's all you're going to need this block trace for. And now that you've done that, you can just wait um, for that Bitcoin to arrive to the wallet that you specified. You would receive these Bitcoins onto local Bitcoins, but the next step is actually selling them. And to do that, you would want to go into sell Bitcoins and local Bitcoins in the drop down menu, top right. And then you go down, and it's most likely going to uh, pick up your location if you have that enabled. And it's going to tell you in your area who is selling Bitcoin. And so you can see I'm in Canada. So I'm getting people in Canada with Canadian banks. See, you can do a bank cash deposit, PayPal, Interact e-transfer, and those are the main methods, which are are very, it's very good uh, choices there. You will now have to agree on a price with someone that's willing to pay that amount. And once you've done that, which I like, this price, and it's not me that has to go to a bank, it's them, because they're depositing money into my bank account. I don't like to do PayPal because the transaction can be reversed, although local Bitcoins does have escrow. So he's selling $104,336 worth, and we're getting, we both blockchain for president, because wouldn't that be awesome? Wouldn't it be awesome to do our voting on the blockchain? Then you're just gonna put your receiving email address for Interact e-transfer, and you are then going to say whatever you want. You don't even have to say anything. You can say, hey, and then he'll reply back, that he's sending the money. Because you, once you press send the trade request, you put that amount of Bitcoins that you specify into escrow, where then neither you have access to it or he has access to it until you both agree on a solution or either local Bitcoins itself and a moderator and one of the two parties agree on a solution. Basically, the moderator decides who is, who has a valid argument and who doesn't, which all of the transactions and messages 
are saved for, I think it's 30 days, so there's no argument about what happened. So it's pretty safe, even if you do do PayPal, someone does reverse it. So, let's see here. Although I don't know how that works, I've never done it, so I can't say per se. We're going to have to wait a bit for these Bitcoins to finally come through. But what you would do is send the trade request. He would send the money to your email. You would then deposit through that email the money. So as soon as that email arrives in your uh, email that you type in, saying that you can send money, send money from this user, you can then uh, release the bitcoins if you're satisfied. And nobody has ever in all the transactions I've made on here, which is quite a bit, I've been using this website for two years or more now, and I've done business through it, uh, so money has went in and out quite a bit. So, um, they'll send you a message with the code or the phrase to unlock the Interact e-transfer. Once you release the funds into your account, and this is very important, once you finally go to your bank account and have the money in there, then you release the funds. So they always provide me within a couple of minutes, sometimes seconds because it seems to be going to their phone. Um, you can always uh, cancel the trade and open another trade. You can cancel the trade right here. And um, there will be a green button to uh, confirm this trade once you have received the money and actually pressed um, the send trade request. It shows you all the instructions here too. So you can see the terms of their trade. So make sure you read that because you want to understand exactly what you have to do.